Hello everybody and welcome back to Stellaris. Uh, we are in our home system right now, admiring the beautiful new Gaia world that the um, Habanite Unified Worlds just, I guess, teleported or somehow transported into the solar system. This whole planet just got um, kind of teleported into our system and they gave it to us as a um, as a sign of, of peace and good good relationships um, between uh, between our two uh, empires, because they wanted us to leave them alone and to show us that they meant no ill will towards us, they gave us that planet. Um, so that's fantastic news for us. We have one more planet to colonize. Um, this episode, we have a couple things going on. I think our fleet. Um, is getting to a size big enough to take on shard but um i actually think instead of trying to take it on as soon as possible we're gonna wait maybe an episode or two more um i was told um that this fleet power is probably not gonna be enough i heard the i heard i think it was 50k fleet power was what somebody said so I think if I go in here, it's going to be a slaughter. So I think I'm going to hold off and give the dragon some space for another couple episodes. But what I do want to do is I do want to continue um, to colonize all the remaining planets we have in our solar system. So um, we have our colony ship on the way to colonize Sol 10, this Gaia world. Um, we have another world right here in Yubalon, this tomb world which we can colonize and then take the decision to turn it into a um, turn it into a Gaia world. We have this ocean world on Sismak that we can colonize. And we have the home world of the Gruner that we can colonize. So um, that's gonna be three more planets. Um, and then we just need to specialize each of our planets. Um, so right now we have a generator world. We'll probably only have one of those in the long run. We have an agri world right here. Um, so this gives us a science boost. Society f uh, research from jobs is 25%. So I think this is gonna be a science world. And I think our other science world is gonna be here once we killed Shard on this relic world because relic worlds um, provide some interesting bonuses for, um, for science. Um, and then the rest of our worlds we should probably just make into industrial worlds because um, consumer goods and alloys are probably the two most um, important resources to get a ton of during the game. I never really make any mining worlds. I feel like I always get enough minerals from uh, from just like my space stations and if I need more minerals I can just build the odd mining state. Uh, I guess there's a mining station or mining district or something on, on individual planets. Um, okay, so with that being said, let's go ahead and let's unpause the game, and let's go ahead and let's Pursuit queue up complete. Uh, another colony ship, so we can get colonizing these planets. Fleet command limit plus 20, fleet supremacy. All right, now we can get habitability plus 5%. That's not super important for us since we're going to turn all of our worlds into Gaia worlds which are already locked at 100%, so I don't think we really need that so much. Um, Edict's fun plus 20 would be pretty good. Yeah, we're not really short on food right now, so I don't think we need this. Yeah, let's go for Edict's more Edict's fun. Um, speaking of Edict's fun, let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're using a whole lot of Edict's fun to boost our research, um, so it'll be good to get um, more edicts fun because right now we're way over the limit All right So our Tribune of Rights has leveled up and we can give them Our Empire pop upkeep and trade value uh, Pop upkeep reduction and trade value increase we can give um, a diplomatic perk to our Empire I think we're going to give this person an industrialist. This is going to make them a better governor over our world. So that's going to give a specialist complete. pop resource output plus 5%. All right. Construction complete. And this person we are going to give... 
Principled. We'll give them Principled and Champion of the People. These are both great, great traits. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's build a research station in Tamaranda to start get, building up these um, artifacts. And let's look at our fleet designer. Because now we have a command limit of 60. And we've only used 40 of it. Um, one second, we'll go ahead and take this. New colony start with one extra pop. That's going to be good for us. Um, right. So we have 20 Corvettes, 10 Construction frigates, complete. and 5 destroyers. System survey complete. Um, so if we have like 30 total Corvette size things, I think we should have half that. 15 amount of destroyers. So, we're going to do this. We're going to click Reinforce Fleet. Our construction ship needs orders. Great. Building the Flunf system. That's a great name. The bowl life seating on Ultan is complete. Okay, let's find where where Ultan is. Ultan is our uh, planet in the Jotham system. Ah, we can see it's definitely been terraformed into a beautiful new Gaia world. Uh, once again, as a result of this process, itself not quite fully understood by our geneticists, a number of new ball populations have appeared planet side, emerging when terraforming near completion. Alright, so let's look at this planet now. We have a population of five, so it looks like it gave us four new, new ball pops. So, um... This colony, I think we need to make an industrial world. Um, and this one, instead of being a general industrial world, I'm going to specialize on, um, I'm going to specialize on consumer goods. Well, I'm considering specializing it on either, uh, you yeah, know, we need consumer goods right now. So we're going to go to designation. We're going to say this is a factory world. And we are going to build industrial districts. We are also going to build... Why can't we build in the building slot? Oh, because we're already building a monument. Great. Um, so let's go here. Um, I thought this was where we could see our relics. Where can I see my relics? I could have sworn it was a tab in here. Contacts. Discoveries. Okay. Oh, there's a new there's a new tab here for discoveries. Um so looks like the cooldown lasts ten years. So we won't be able to take this decision for another 1300 days so that's a while so we're gonna actually kind of need to slow down our colonization um, our head of research can take a new perk um, what is our head of research doing they're excavating an archaeological site so it'd be good to give them archaeology skill plus one actually I don't really need to rush that process and make it go any faster I think I'm gonna continue just taking this yeah, that's going to increase our um, likelihood of getting propulsion-related technologies and our skill with um, with learning them. This science ship needs orders. Um, let's excavate this site on Dacha. Let's see what it says here. Ruins cover Halito 1, but oddly, the blast pattern seemed to indicate that a vast nuclear explosion occurred underneath the surface rather than from atmospheric or orbital bombardment. This warrants further investigation, but will require an archaeological dig to uncover what happened here. Yeah, sounds great. I'm, I mean, that doesn't sound great. I mean, it sounds great that we will figure out what's happening there. Um, this science ship has nothing to do now. Construction complete. Our scientists are completely done exploring and we have every archaeological site being excavated this guy's on the way to um, excavate this site so 
with this scientist. I think we're going to disband his ship. And we're going to set him as a governor on a world. So let's see what worlds uh, might need governors. And I actually already know what the answer is going to be. We have a science world in our home system. New Favaria. I think he will be a great new uh, governor of New Favaria. All right. Death of a great leader. Our great scientist Bonnie Baeran has passed away at the age of 83 while in service to our empire. The people clamor for a memorial service to honor this leader's contribution to the Favarian Republic. A grand event will give everyone closure and bolster our ideals. Alright, uh, we're going to continue in our, our egalitarian fashion. A small commemoration will suffice. I think this involves like inscribing their name on a monument. Yeah. Bonnie Bay Aaron's name and title are covered on a t are carved on a towering monument alongside others who have served the Favarian Republic for the good of its people. This is going to give us a boost to unity and stability for five years. That's great. Um, okay, so now, um, what was that scientist involved in doing? I guess nothing. Construction complete. Maybe that was the uh, scientist we had governing Fortalia. Complete. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna have this scientist govern Fortalia now. Um. Okay. Speaking of Fortalia, it needs more jobs. So let's go ahead and let's build some research labs. Construction ships need orders. Okay, go ahead and build mining stations and then move to the uh, to the Bulgore system. This construction ship needs orders. Build mining stations and build research stations. All right. We're starting to finally kind of round out our borders and get all of the systems in the area. This colony ship needs orders. Okay, so it's going to be a little while before our cooldown um, where we can... Uh, where we can take the new bull life seeding decision. So we're going to move this guy into the Ubalon system because it's far complete. away, so we might as well. Uh, unexplainable rotations. Just a day after finishing our mining station on the trapped asteroid, the rock abruptly rotated, destroying the mining station. In the process of doing this, even more rare crystal deposits were exposed to our senses. Okay. Why did it do that? Situation log updated. Let's take this and let's see study this change asteroid is a project right here okay so when our scientists are done with whatever they're doing they can move here and they can study the asteroid and we're going to go ahead and build a station on wodriax okay how are we doing on this cooldown? 800 more days? That's a little over two years. Okay, so in a little over two years, we're gonna have our colony ship here, colonize Yubalon, and we'll take the new bull life seeding decision. Okay, so let's check uh, jobs on all of our worlds. Our home world could use some more jobs. And actually, I don't think we need civilian industries on here. I like to have my home world later in the game when I have planets for uh, everything. I like to have my home world producing a lot of unity for us. It makes sense as the administrative capital of the world. So we're going to create a lot of administrative offices here. Um, it looks like we also need amenities. So I'm also going to create a hollow theaters. Uh, Desadia, our generator world, needs housing, needs jobs. Okay, we're going to continue building generator themed things. Our industrial world Construction complete. has unemployment. So let's go ahead and build more industrial districts. And actually, um, we already have the other planet developing as a specifically consumer goods focused world. So I'm going to transition this one into a forge world eventually. 
Not right away, because that's going to put us in, in a deficit for consumer goods. Um, but we will transition it to that. So I'm going to go ahead and build alloy foundries. And Construction a complete. monument on this world. I like building a monument on all my worlds. Ruins. The devastation is almost total, but a few scattered records have survived. It appears the people of Halito 1 were obsessed with the idea that aliens were observing them. Frequent reports of unidentified flying objects, animal uh, mutilation, and abduction drove the planet into a frenzy. In reaction, countless resources were poured into vast detection arrays, anti-spacecraft defenses, and underground shelters to protect the population. Well, I hope this was before we came and started observing everything in the system, because we, we were also doing that, and... Well, we wouldn't want to be the cause of mass panic and hysteria. Oh, looks like I'm fresh out of minerals, so let's go ahead and let's just buy a bunch more. We can afford it. Um, right. We were going to build... We were going to build a monument on this planet as well. Okay. The library. We have discovered clear signs that Waltham 4 was once densely populated. However, whatever destroyed their civilization did a very thorough job of it. A few useful remains have been found. Um, our, our scanners have detected several large cavities deep below the surface that may once have supported life. Perhaps we will have more luck there. Okay, we're going underground. Um, let's check how our fleets are doing. Okay, so we're up to about 15k. I think once we're up, up to about maybe 20 or 30, we'll try taking on the dragon. I think 50 might be a little excessive. I mean, maybe I'll eat my words. Maybe maybe 30 is perfectly reasonable. Uh, new Favaria. Okay, so we're going to not auto-designate this. We're going to set this as a tech world. Complete. We're going to build our first building, which is always going to be a monument. And then after that, we're complete. going to build city districts and research labs. Um, okay, we can upgrade our missiles, we can upgrade our strike crafts, we can get robotic workers, which I actually think we're not going to go with robots this playthrough. We have really high pop growth speed and um, robots are a lot of micromanagement that I'd just rather not deal with. Um, Corvette hull points would be good. I actually like upgrading the missiles. I'd like to get missiles back on my ships again. Um, okay, we can exploit this exotic gas now. And we can also um, gain access to these, um, what do you call these? Artifacts? Yeah. All right, things are going well. Okay, old time, complete. our factory world, we can continue building more factories in. Okay, we need to sell off some of this extra food so that we can buy in more minerals. So we can continue building more factories. Titanic life. The native life of New Favara was built on an epic scale, far larger than anyone previously thought possible for biological life. The question now in the minds of our researchers is, what is their secret, and can we benefit from it? Proposals to study the native life in greater detail are flooding in. Okay, so we can hunt them for extra jobs and extra agricultural districts. And 30% food from jobs. Eh. Let's study them. Situation log updated. Okay, so we have a Titanic life study available. Um, I have a question. Do we also have secrets of the bull? Yeah, so usually with these precursors, if you're not familiar, there's a new special project you can take that gives you some kind of bonus when you finish it. So in this case, we're going to study the bull species. Um, and learn what secret, what technological secrets they held. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Spend 750 artifacts to unlock a special project to further study the bowl, okay? So now if we go into our special projects, um, 
Once we're done setting the Titanic life, we're gonna go ahead and take this option to research this as well. Okay, uh, lots of new new notifications here, new contact. We have received communique from a previously unknown spacefaring empire that called themselves the Galactic Velutaran Co Coalition. Another coalition, huh? They claim to have learned of our existence by listening in on the communications of another empire we are in contact with. All right, they are authoritarian and fanatic materialist. Okay, um, they're kind of far away from us, so we're just gonna let them do their thing. As keep to yourselves. Uh, communications established. Oh, a whole lot of communications established. We also have the Alliance of Hard Shell Harbor and the regime of Reliash. Okay. Okay, so there are these three civilizations. Okay, so the regime of Reliash is militarist and xenophile. And the alliance is xenophile and materialist. Okay, so we finally found some xenophiles that might be um, nice to us. We'll find out. <laughs> uh, this construction ship needs orders. Let's go ahead and let's mine this exotic gas. This construction ship needs orders. Let's go ahead and let's build our starbase in Gruner. All right, they have all closed their borders to us. That's fine. Do they want to establish embassies? No. No. These people will establish an embassy with us. Research complete. So let's actually let's actually try to improve our relations with these guys. Um, I think it's going to be better to it. Improve relations not with our direct neighbors who clearly don't want better relations, but improve them with these people down here, which might uh, be powerful allies to help us defend uh, against any further invasions. All right, we have a lot of rare technologies that popped up here. Wow. Um, we can get hyper relay construction, um, which is really good. These basically let you move faster along certain, like, you can create kind of like highways along the hyper lanes in your empire. Um, that's going to be really good. It just takes a lot of alloys to build these. Uh, we can get cloaking. I'm never, I've never really been a huge fan of the cloaking. I don't see it's necessary, but I've never also played into the late game. Maybe it becomes more important in the late game. Or we can build a detection array in our starbase modules. Eh. Auxiliary fire control. Okay, I'm going to go with the hyper, hyper relay networks. We're going to see just, we're going to remind ourselves just how expensive they are. It might be worth. All right, the library. Okay, so we went underground. Our excavation of the cave systems on Waltham 4 have found well-preserved remnants of an underground high technology society built on a vast scale. Many of the ruins are in surprisingly good condition and we have managed to find what researchers are describing as a library of encrypted data crystals. Hopefully these can shed light on what happened here. Okay, keep at it. I would love to find out what happened here. Okay, how are we doing on jobs? Three housing, four jobs, good. Four housing, zero jobs, could be better. Okay, since this is our home world, we're gonna kind of have a mix of different districts. So I'm gonna build another mining district here. Um, Corim, our industrial world. Okay, in the process of building alloy foundries and an Autochthon monument. Great. Full time. This is our factory world. Okay, we're in the process of building more jobs there. Death of a great leader. Our scientist Bor Bathan has passed away at the age of 81. All of our leaders are dying. I guess they were all around the same age. The people clamor for a memorial service. Okay. Why don't we get the option to carve Borbathon's name on the monument? I guess we'll keep it traditional. A traditional funeral. A deep sorrow gripped the public as, as news is regarding the passing of Borbathon spreads to the wider community. Uh, countess, uh, countless mourners join the funeral procession on Favari to follow the traditional funeral rites. All right, that's gonna give us unity and stability. Great. 
Our scientist needs orders. Oh, we no longer have a scientist to excavate this archaeological site. Well, it would be worth getting a new scientist in into the empire. That was our head of research. So we're going to potentially need a new head of research. Okay, so this is survey speed. This is anomaly discovery chance. Both are useless to us now. Anomaly research speed, anomaly research speed. All useless to us now. Um, they're all militarists. So I'm just going to go with the youngest one. Because that person is going to stick around in our empire the longest. Okay, this person we can give... I think we're going to start using these guys as governors more and more. So instead of giving them archaeological traits, I mean, this is the last archaeological site this person's going to excavate because we're not really expanding that much after this. Let's go ahead and give them uh, governor governor traits. Okay. All right. Open council position, head of research. Um, Well, none of these guys have counselor traits, except for this guy has a negative counselor trait. So we might as well just put the new guy in for head of research. We'll learn as he goes. Okay, continue excavating the site. Construction please. complete. All right, build this research station. Relic activation available. Complete. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate. We're gonna go ahead and activate the ball. Artifact, and we're going to go ahead and colonize Ubalon 3. Droid Tundir. Okay. So we're going to have a new planet, which is going to be really low habitability until our Nubal life seeding project completes. Alright, this construction ship needs orders. Let's go ahead and let's build a research station there, and then let's build a mining station here. All right, ruins. More details have been assembled from the scattered records we have recovered. As an ever increasing percentage of planetary resources were poured into anti-UFO measures without any noticeable success on their economic and uh, their economy and society began to collapse. Brownouts and food shortages were endemic. Yeah, because they moved underground. Most fields of technology stagnated and a deep sense of hopelessness prevailed at every level of society. Scattered references have been found to some kind of ultimate shield, which began increasingly common as reports about the general situation on Halita 1 get worse. Okay, interesting. Construction complete. All right. Construction complete. Fantastic. Our construction ships no longer have any orders, so we're going to prepare to start building a hyper relay network, okay? Um, Research complete. So I'm going to have a relay that gets us to this border real quick, to the heart of the empire. And that also connects down to Huawei, probably. Um, okay, we can use a new project, a new uh, engineering research project, I should say. Um, we can get city district housing plus one. That's pretty good. Planetary build speed. Good, but not really necessary. Like, I never felt like the build speeds were too long. Armor is probably the best bet for us. Getting continually better armor on our ships is going to make them more resilient. It's going to help us get ready to fight this dragon. Okay. How's our fleet doing? Uh, we can go ahead and reinforce the fleet. Construction ship needs orders. Just hang out, I guess. We don't have any... Foreign Empire claims our system. The sender in authority is claiming a bunch of our systems. Okay, so we might expect war coming from them sometime soon. Okay, our Commissary General. Hmm. Which fleet is our Commissary General... Um, commanding. Neither of them. I guess, oh, our Commissary General doesn't get to command a fleet. Um, since they're just in charge of our Empire, we can give Naval Capacity plus 20 as a tr uh, trait. Ship starting experience. Uh, planetary Defense Armies, eh, not that good. Sublight Speed plus 10%. That's fantastic. 
Okay. Okay, so if we're expecting these people are claiming our systems, which means they're probably preparing for war. So let's go ahead and let's upgrade this to a star hold. And let's actually build another star base close, um, close by where we can build a shipyard. So I think this star base right behind it is probably going to be good for us. So we're going to build shipyards in Regunoth and we're going to build a bastion of defense in Waltham. Okay, so Fortalia. I need to remember where all of these um, where all of these planets are. We'll probably do some sector management, break our empire into different sectors to make it easier to remember what which planets go where. Um, Droid Tandir is still colonizing, so we can't take the decision yet. Oh, we need to be unpaused. Okay, so. Seven hundred days, roughly, to upgrade in the Fevnor station. We don't want the Fevnor station. Seven hundred days, and then the Regunov system will be done in three hundred days. Oh, let's actually remind ourselves when the debt collectors are coming. We always come unprepared. Twenty-two sixty-one. Okay, so five years. So once I'm done upgrading these, this fleet, I think we're going to move it into the Fevnor system and just get ready for them to be there. Um, I'm aware I can upgrade the fleet as well. I'm just avoiding doing that because right now we are researching better armor, so we might as well do all the upgrades at once. All right. All right, things are going pretty good. And in fact, if the Sandoran Authority is preparing for war, I think this is a war we're actually going to be ready for, unless uh, our northern neighbors decide to declare war on us as well, in which case we might be a little less prepared. A team member exploring the ruins on Waltham 4 recently disappeared. After a short search, we found the skeletons that seems to have belonged to a Valdar. Uh-oh. How did they already turn into a skeleton? All their flesh decomposed? Our researchers are in no doubt that these remains are what's left of our missing team member, but they are baffled as to how the body decomposed quite this quickly. The urge, they urge caution as we continue our investigations. Maybe it's some kind of flesh-eating chemical and not necessarily decomposition. All right, the Mythfell order is getting pretty big. They're going to they're going to be pretty concerning and pretty concerning ready. enemies to have. Titanic life study success. After a period of research and study, the scientists on New Favari have managed to make a breakthrough and achieve limited communications with some of the Titans. While huge, slow and difficult to talk to, the Titans are incredibly tough and strong. Some um some few have expressed a desire to join our military forces, where they will undoubtedly be an incredible asset. Wow, we can we can recruit titanic beasts. That's that's good news. We have a we have an army right here. Maybe we can recruit a couple of titanic beasts there. Okay, we can launch secure uh, superior colonies, and we can take. Evolving society for the extra for the extra unity Or is it extra happiness one of those two either way it's gonna be really good for us Okay, Agriculture districts Tech world we can build Some research labs Okay, um, we can build, nope, 
I wanted to build shipyards here. We don't need to necessarily upgrade it into a tier two star base. So we're at nine of nine star base capacity. I like to keep increasing the star base capacity because I'd like to have a star base in every system that we have a planet. So I'd like to build one in Jaltham, for example. Um, not necessary complete. right away, but you can build a star base building uh, that basically lets pops more easily transport themselves between planets so you have to wait less time when there's an unemployed pop on one planet for that pop to um, move to a different planet Colony established all right awareness of the ganvian civilization in the guitar system has increased increased to partially aware all right what stage are these these folks at research complete they're in the atomic age okay well when they discover us we'll let them reach out and be the first the first to reach out okay so we have increased edicts fund we can get the terraforming technology but not really necessary now um given our our abilities we can get mega structures mega art installation would be cool um oh these are huge technologies look how much 120,000 24,000 yeah okay we don't need to take any of these just yet. That's that's a little bit much. We can take extra naval capacity or diplomatic weight plus 10% or more edicts fun. Let's get the extra naval capacity because we are right at our naval capacity limit. It'd be good to increase that. Sandras and warriors sighted. For several months now, we have received scattered reports of small numbers of alien mercenaries and privateers operating on the frontiers of our space. They call themselves the Sondrathani, and are apparently exiles from a nomadic warrior culture inhabiting in overcrowded space stations in and around the Ulu system. Their passage near our space proceeded without incident, but they warned us against uh, trespassing in Ulus. There is no Sandrathan central government to speak of, but the various factions are engaged in constant infighting and often launch raids against neighboring star systems. Indeed, if given their vast population and space-based production cap capability, the Sanjathani would likely be a significant galactic power if they ever stopped killing each other. Alright. Space pirates. Let's see where they are. I guess we don't know. Unless I'm blind. Oh, here they are. Alright. Pop growth speed plus 10%. And finishing the expansion tree gives us max districts plus one on every planet. Oh, that's really good. We can take another ascension perk. Archaeo engineers would be good. I kind of like some of those archaeological weapons. Uh, one vision would also be good. Mastery of nature gives us even more districts on all of our planets. Though we're not really up against the district limit right now, so that's not necessarily important right away. Edicts fund plus 100 could also be really good. Empire size from planets. Um, I think the most important thing to get second is one vision. That monthly unity plus 10%, amenities usage minus 10% is really, really good. Um, okay. Let's go ahead and let's delve into the secrets of the bowl. And are we still researching networked relays? Yes, we are. Okay, we're going to be for 50 more months. That's a long time. Does that mean we finished researching improved armor? No, we have 38 more months. Okay, after those 38 months, we will upgrade our fleet. Construction complete. All right, so the Waltham system, we need to fortify because the sender and authority has been claiming our systems left, right, and center, okay? Um, so, I say we go for two hangar bays. And we go for torpedo batteries wouldn't be a bad shout, but they're not that good against Corvettes. Say we're gonna take two, two gun batteries. 
And then our last two slots will build two torpedo batteries. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to be very fortified. It's going to be great for us. If they ever try to attack, they'll have a significant obstacle in their way. In fact, we can build some buildings here as well. Um, I like to build this disruption field generator because it uh, negates 20% of their shield hit points. And I also like to build communication jammers pretty good because it reduces their speed. Though target uplink computer increases our, sh our weapons range. Yeah, let's increase our weapons range. That's going to be good for us. All right. Another scientist died. Wow, our scientists just keep dying. Okay, let's go ahead and let's take this governor in to finish this project. And uh, once all of our once all of our archaeological sites are finished, um, we'll go ahead and sort out all of our governors in the end. Um, because I know we have a lot of planets without governors, we, we need to do some sector management as well. I think we might start off the next episode by organizing our sectors into something that makes a little more sense. So we can divide up our empire a little more easily. I just like to get these archaeological sites done so we can get rid of our science ships and move these guys into governorship. The right to leave. Our observation of Zatar 2 proceeds, and we have recently discovered what we first mistook as rogue drones. These individuals live in the periphery of the local hive settlements and seem to have acquired partial, if not full, autonomy from a hive mind. That's interesting. They seem entirely disconnected from the collective, and some even seem to enjoy leisurely moments comfortable doing nothing. They, however, appeals, appear to still depend on the hive for resources, and they are basically trading with the collective. Why the Hive has not seen fit to exterminate these rogue drones remains a mystery. That is really interesting. Alright. Looks like this is probably a good stopping point for episode 2. We're just coming up about 40 minutes right now. So, um, we've gotten a lot done today. Um, we're almost done completely excavating all of our archaeological sites. We've built and expanded our borders to almost every system except for Borbagon, which we're going to deal with eventually once we have a big enough fleet that we're confident can take on the dragon. Um, our fleet's big and bolstered in size. Um, we've done made a lot of technological progress. Uh, we're defending our borders against the Sandoran Authority and we'll probably continue to build up our borders in the north as well. Um, things are going well. I think if the Sandoran Authority doesn't declare war on us soon, then we might declare war on them um, to put them in line. Um, a preemptive war. We are a war warfaring society anyways. Um, yeah, so let me know if you have uh, any ideas or suggestions in the comments. Uh, and thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.